The Beaverton's Portraits of Canadiosity, Neil Young. Neil Percival Young is a Canadian musical icon who has sold more rock albums in the U.S. than any other Canadian except... Oh, fuck, it's Nickelback, isn't it? Shit. As a child, Neil lived a peaceful life, splitting his time between Manitoba and Ontario, until one day in 1962 when tragedy struck. An ill-advised attempt to play electric harmonica led to a nasty shock. The result? Young's vocal cords were fried, leaving him unable to sing in any register save for a nasal falsetto. Eventually, Young began writing songs about his trauma. Classics like Cinnamon Girl and Down by the River had varying messages about love and youthful alienation, but were all really about how Young wished he didn't have to sing like that. But he did, because of the accident. To everyone's surprise, Young's debut album, I Only Sing Like This Because I Had a Terrible Accident, was a huge hit. From there, Young quickly joined supergroup Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young, which was fortunate as, until Neil arrived, their band title made no sense. In 1976, he performed at the legendary The Last Waltz concert film. Director Martin Scorsese famously had to edit Young's performance to remove the 10 minutes he spent asking the crowd why no one was waltzing. In 1989, Neil Young finally overcame his struggle by writing a song that was not about his traumatic harmonica accident. Keep On Rocking in the Free World was, as far as music critics can tell, written solely to be used ironically in searing documentaries about how the West isn't really free. This has been a Beaverton Portrait of Canadiosity. Thank <laughs> you.